Apparently you guys like it when I give my information away to the Chinese government buying bootleg Dragon Ball figures off Timu. So I figured the logical thing to do would be to do it again. We got this huge hoard of bootleg Dragon Ball figures that I've never seen. My wife ordered them. I have no idea what's in there. We're about to cut them open, judge them, rate them, and see if it was worth the money. Let's do it. Let's start with the smallest package here. There's something that just feels eerie about opening bootleg figures. I don't know what it is, but I'd be lying to you if I said this wasn't super fun. In all the boxes in here, are completely unmarked. So I literally have no idea what I'm getting into right now. Let's cut this box open right here and see what this is. I see Vegeta on the side. That doesn't mean anything. Some of these bootleg boxes will have like 40 characters on them. This one has Vegeta all over it. And apparently Vegeta even tried to get out right there. You see the box being he broken? He tried to punch a hole. He tried to punch his way out of there, but he just didn't get through. Let's see what this Vegeta looks like. I said this a lot with bootleg figures. They seem to have a real issue with Vegeta's face. They see they got Goku's pretty well. But for some reason, they really struggle with Vegeta. I don't know what it is about it, but this one actually looks way better. This one looks way better. This is a big improvement over the last Vegeta right here. So far, from what I can see, the paint job looks better on this one. This too. one, like, overall, he looks way... This is definitely a um, Namek Saga Vegeta. He looks really good, actually. Let's see if his body goes on. It does. And he has a foot stand and everything. You know what? That looks really good, actually. Mm, let's try to guess the price on him. I bet you he's expensive. I'm going to say $45 just because of his size and the fact that he's actually very well detailed and his face actually looks like Vegeta. $20.48. 20 bucks? That's better than half of the freaking licensed ones. That's definitely after he asked um, Krillin to blow a hole in his body to get Dende to heal him to try to turn himself into a Super Saiyan. That's sick. I really like that one. Okay, that's him? a good start. Yeah, we're going to rank him. I forgot. We got to give him... You know what? That's what I'm here for. Maybe I'm just easy, but I got to give Vegeta something out of seven. He looks good. He looks really good. I really like this one. I like it. If we can keep doing that all night, we'll be doing really great. I'm Come here. Oh, this one's... Just got a bunch of booze on it. it doesn't really help me because I don't really know who that is. It's just a bunch of booze. All right, let's find out what boo we have. It's probably Frieza. Let's see. Oh, no, it's, oh, it looks like Super Boo. Okay, let's see. There he is, Super Boo in pieces. Let's put them together. He looks pretty good, too. He looks really good. What is up with this? Team is really stepping their game up. They started watching our videos, and they're like, okay. <laughs> Maybe we gotta step our game up here. <laughs> he looks really good. He's got a little, oh, he's got an absorber pot. Oh gosh. We ordered another Super Boo that was um, Gotenks absorbed. Okay. This is just terrible. I don't even have an idea. Okay, maybe it's supposed to be Boo. I think it's supposed to be Fat Boo. That's my only guess, but it's terrible. We're not gonna count that. The actual Super Boo figure, he looks good again. My gosh, they really stepped their game up. Like, he looks perfect. He literally, I would not for a second question if that was bootlegged or unlicensed. Not at all. No? I'm, maybe I'm just too easy. I'm giving him seven out of seven. He looks really awesome. I love these Price. two. Okay, since Vegeta's only 20, Super Boo's a bit bigger. I'm gonna guess Super Boo's around 40 bucks. 24, 48. 25 bucks, that's crazy for that size. That is really crazy. You know what, I like that one. Oh. Ah, almost dropped that beautiful absorption pod. That thing gets a one out of seven. <laughs> Let's go to this one right here. It's for the first bag. This one's like a lot a lighter. Two. It has some detail to it. It's, it's one. <laughs> it's, it might be even half. Let's see what's in this box right here. Oh. oh, this is a little figure. It looks like, what the heck is that? I can't even tell who it is. The picture. Let's see. Okay, it's Goku. Oh, it's Goku mid-transformation. Kid Goku mid-transformation into the eight or Azuru, whatever you want to call it. Let's see here. Let's get him out of here. There's a box over here. Oh, he looks pretty good too. He looks, no, I don't think he's quite as good as the other two, but he looks pretty good. Nah, nah. Okay, he's not as good. He's not as good. But you know what? He still looks cool. He's got his tail. He's got his foot rest. Does his tail actually fit? They love to send you tails that don't fit at all. But his tail went right in pretty easy. Uh, the painting on his mouth is a little off. The painting on him is a little off. His fingers got like little extra pieces of plastic over the edges. Definitely the worst so far. But still, overall, I say he's a pretty good figure. I'm saying he's 5 out of 7. And since he's pretty small, I'm going to guess he only costs like 20 bucks. $13.98. $13.98? Yeah, I'd still pay that for that guy. It's not bad at all. You know what his title says? What? Like what he's listed as on TV. Well, they can't list him as Goku, so I'm curious. <laughs> Exquisite, handsome, cute boy, decorative statue model doll, Halloween Thanksgiving. Okay, is it just me that maybe calling like an 11 year old cute is a little weird? But okay, let's just go to the next one here. Is that Chris Hansen? Okay, let's, <laughs> let's go to this box right here. Whatever's in here is just in the plastic, it's not even in a box. What is this, a Gohan bust? It has a remote with it. Are you telling me it actually lights up? 
Let's see. So look at that. It's a Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan little bust. It actually looks pretty good. I can't lie. Like I want to laugh at these. I'm not lying. Like, as a YouTuber content creator, I want these to be awful and I want to laugh at them because that's what makes it funny. But they look good. I can't lie. What does this remote do? On. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Nice, unless maybe he's supposed to get a battery first, or maybe he doesn't come with a plug or anything like that. I don't know, he's got a remote, I'm pressing the on button, and I'm pressing different buttons, and it doesn't do anything. But if you don't take into consideration the light, he's pretty good, he's like a, I'd say a six out of seven, easy. And because it's pretty detailed, I'm gonna guess he's like a 35, $35 figure. 16, 48. 16 bucks, yeah, he looks good. He looks really good. That's my favorite character in Dragon Ball Z is Teen Gohan. Gohan in general, but especially Teen Gohan. So yeah, I like that one. That looks cool. This, I'm not even gonna keep really because he's just gonna go on a shelf anyway, so forget the light. Let's go to the next thing here. You what is Gohan, this? Right? What? You ranked Gohan, right? Yeah, I'd give him a six out of seven. Speaking of Gohan, this looks like a Beast Gohan, special beam cannon. So this is probably a direct bootleg of the Figure Zero that's releasing soon. It might be out by now, I'm not sure. I know I've seen it on a Dragon Ball group. So right when they release a new figure, the bootleggers are like, we got it, we're on it. We're gonna go bootleg it. But that's okay, because I like to keep both. I buy the real, all the real ones, I buy all the fake ones, I buy all the cheap ones, I buy all the expensive ones. I just love Dragon Ball. Okay. Let's see, the special beam cannon blast right here. Is his hand? Oh, his hand's not attached. Okay, let's see here. Let's get... Yeah, definitely. Beast Gohan, Special Beam Cannon. He has two hands, though, and they look exactly the same. I don't know why I would choose one over the... Oh, one has an extra peg for the blast and one doesn't, so we're definitely going to put the blast on him. Let's put his hand in there. Why would get you not want there. that cool blast? I know. Like, why would you ever choose to not put that there? Uh, let's see. Where's the hole at? There it is. So this is going to go just like that. Here we go. That looks pretty cool. And then this other effect on his foot. Okay, he's actually good. His teeth look a little funky, I'm not gonna lie. He doesn't even have bottom teeth, he just has upper teeth. I think but, his hair needs to be more gray. Yeah, his hair yeah, looks he's a little like off. like an old man. But you know what? With all the details and the blast and the energy, I think he's pretty good. I'm gonna get, I still give him a six out of seven. And I'm gonna guess he's probably more expensive than the rest with all the effects, so. I'm gonna stick to my original guess of $45 for Super Bowl. About $45? $27.98. $27.98? Heck yeah, I'll definitely take that. Let's go to the next thing in here. Oh, is that it? Oh no, there's another one in here. Another bust. This one, Goku, it's like the same thing as Gohan. I feel like Goku's gonna be slightly more expensive because he's Goku. And he has a remote too. Let's see if Goku's remote does anything. He's got some red energy under him. Let's see, what is this? Uh, his face is broken. Well, his base is broken. There's part of his base. Does but still stand at least? Uh, yeah, he okay. still stands. Good. And that part's not going to be shown on our shelf anyway, so whatever. Not a big deal to me. Let's get the remote out of here and see if this is a cosmetic remote like um, Gohan or if this one actually does something. Get out of there. Okay, let's see. Ready? On. You don't have to pull anything, do you? Not that I see. Like, I know this, I know what you're talking about. I don't see. Pull there's tabs. nothing. Yeah, no, there's nothing like that on here. I don't know, but to be real, even if it did work, I would just turn it on and once it died, I'd never touch it again. So yeah. there's really no point. I'm just gonna leave him like this. Goku also looks almost better than Gohan. I'm gonna give him like a six out of seven as well. He looks good. The only reason I'm not giving him a seven out of seven is because his base is broken. His looks though, he looks really good. I'm surprised that those busts look like that. Price. Mm, well, Gohan was 16 something. I'm gonna guess Goku's like 23. Same price, 1648. Okay, fair enough, 1648. I just thought they'd charge more for Goku because he's Goku. Oh man, I'm looking in here and the boxes in here are wrecked. Let's get this poor box out of here first. Is that Videl? A Videl, I would almost keep her in the box actually with the box just ruined because you can actually see her through it. This one definitely is not as different than the rest. Like it's not meant to look super realistic, you know what I mean? This? This one says Pan and Satan. Is that Pan? Oh, it is it Pan? Uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no, yeah. Pan in that um, outfit. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's Videl. I think they just don't know what they're talking about. And there's, look, Mr. Satan as a chef, or Hercule as a chef. That looks pretty funny. But if this is Pan, maybe I'm just looking like an idiot and I'm wrong, but I think it's Videl. But she looks pretty cool. Like, like you said, it's, it's not meant to look super real like the other one. It's more cartoony looking, so. For what it is, I'm gonna say again, like a six out of seven. And I'm gonna guess because she's pretty big and it comes with Hercule, around 35 bucks? 22.48. 22.48, heck yeah, all day. I'll pay that all freaking day, let's go. Another bust. I'm gonna go ahead and guess the price here, right? Can I say 16.48? No. Oh, what was it? 16.48. Oh. Man, 
<laughs> I was about to say, what is Trump's the one that's priced differently? But this is another bus, just like the rest. I am not even gonna bother with this, this remote. I'm just gonna leave it right in there. This time, the base is not broken. You know, usually, I just said last video, they seem to do a better job with the clothes and they're worse with the face. I'm gonna say, Trunks' his jacket looks a little weird. His face looks pretty accurate. I thought so, his jacket looked cool. It looks, it just doesn't look like, it looks cheap, I guess is the better way to put it. It looks cheap. But I'm gonna give him like a, I'm gonna give him a six out of seven too. He looks cool. These have all been really good quality. Usually there's always a couple that are hilariously bad, but and I haven't seen them yet, but we still have plenty to go. Oh, that looks so sick. Whoa. So this looks like a diorama of like Goku biting Frieza's tail. This looks awesome. I cannot wait to get this out of the box. So this is, if I had to guess, there's probably a resin version of this that this is bootlegging off of. But I don't care, I love these fake resins too. As you can see right behind my back, we got a lot of real ones too, but like I said before, I buy the real ones, I buy the fake ones. There's life-size Super Saiyan 3 Goku there, life-size Ultra Instinct Goku there, a bunch more resins behind, and then there's also a bunch of bootlegs over there. We buy it all. Let's see. Come here. Whoa. That is awesome. Hold on. I gotta get a look at him myself. That is sick. <laughs> Goku's, I mean, I was about to say Goku's teeth look awful, but that's really what his teeth look like in the show when he bites people. So yeah. it's not like it's bad. <laughs> that's an obvious seven out of seven. That is sick. This is gonna be expensive too. Like this is tall. This has gotta be like a foot tall, around a foot tall. Definitely a seven out of seven in my books. That is really awesome. I'm gonna guess around 80, $85. Oh my gosh, you're so high. Really? 35 48 <laughs> 35 my gosh if like the licensed people made figures like this for 35 i would be buying every single i mean i buy everything they release anyway so i can't say nothing but you know how much money they would make a lot of people say don't support bootleggers but this is kind of the reason you do almost because they make cool stuff like this that the licensed figures don't make that is awesome that's that the is real really reason. awesome what? That's the real reason. It that makes is the real the reason. Real ones exactly. Make. If you're like a hardcore collector, you can only have so many Gokus and Vegetas before you have them all. I kind of want all the other people too. Let's go to another mystery box here. This one's really light compared to the others. I'm curious to see what this is. Let's see. This is a little tiny Vegeta. It says Goku and Vegeta, but it's just really? Vegeta. It's a it's like bad printing quality, so I'm just gonna take them out. Okay. If I could see them through their box usually and it's like a really nice box, I keep them in there. But this one's not even labeled right. The printing quality is all blurry and all pixelated. So we're just gonna take him out of there. Let's take the dude out. He's really little. He's not gonna be expensive. But to be that small, I mean, his paint's not even that great either. You can't <laughs> lie. His quality is pretty low and he's pretty small. This is the worst figure so far. I'm gonna guess he's only like 15 bucks. 1048. 1048. Okay, for 10 bucks, I'd still buy him. I'm not gonna lie. He's got a giant one star Dragon Ball. At least that Dragon Ball is the right color and star. We had a bootleg figure last time where it was just a red marble. Like it didn't even have stars on it. Okay, that feels soft, unlike the other ones. I'm kind of curious what this is right here. Let's see. Open up Goku. It looks like a beat up, battle damaged Goku here. Let's see what's inside. Oh, I don't have to cut it. I forgot. They don't take their boxes. Ooh, he looks good too. So they, they, for some reason, they mastered Goku a lot more than they have Vegeta. Even though this Vegeta we got this time looks good. Usually Vegeta looks awful. Goku's looking a lot of tan. You know, let's use Kaokan, like beat up and damaged in Kaokan form. So he looks kind of like reddish tan. So I think overall, he looks pretty freaking cool. If I can get his body, and his body's not trying to go. But other than his body not fitting, I think that one looks pretty sick too. Like I would not for a second question that. I'm guessing he's KO Can. It's also kind of looks like he has no shoes on, so maybe that's back when he fought Raditz. But I was guessing because of the red, it was supposed to be kind of KO Can. I don't really know where it's supposed to be from, but I know it's beat up Goku, and he's got no shoes on, and he looks really red. Maybe it's just bad quality, and he's not even meant to be KO Can. I don't know. But overall, I think he looks pretty sick. He's really nice, too. I'm gonna go. God, I feel like I've given too many sevens today, but I'm giving Goku a seven out of seven. He just looks good. And I'm gonna guess he's like 40 ish dollars. 18.98. 18 bucks. That is insane. I really like this figure. I almost threw this out. There's like a little tiny bag in here. Really? <laughs> really? Yep, really. This is a necklace and a medallion. This Piccolo's head on it. Oh, the necklace just fell right out. You know what? Piccolo's head on a medallion. Guys, get this video 2,000 likes and I'll just, I'll just go ahead and throw this on my necklace and wear it out in public like it's normal. <laughs> If this got 2,000 likes, I would so do that. Okay, I don't really know how to judge it. I'm gonna hope this wasn't expensive. I'm gonna say 
ten dollars. Two forty-eight. Two four. Okay, yeah, heck yeah. I'm about to <laughs> buy. Bucks. Is there more characters? If there's more characters. I'm about to buy some of these. Make a whole little collection of them. That looks pretty cool though. But I mean, for what it is, it's seven out of seven. It's cool. You can tell it's Piccolo. It's got the little turban, green pointy ears. It looks like Piccolo. So you know what? I'm happy with it. I think all these figures are pretty awesome, actually, and definitely worth their prices. If you enjoyed the video, there's two more on screen. We've done this two other times. Click those, go watch them. The next video, we're gonna do an updated tour of this entire basement, and it's epic, almost 6,000 Dragon Ball items. Remember, growing up is giving up, and until next time, peace out.